Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Just going to go over the uh, course here with you and see if you have any questions. Um, and then you can email me. But uh, let me share my screen with you and we'll get right into it. So when you open up your course, um, I'm going to use the announcements a lot. And so over here on the left hand side in this little thing, you would be lit up here and you'd see a, a message from me. Uh, on your dashboard, sometimes you'll see the messages pop up as well. And uh, these messages can, uh, I usually give out, um, you know, weekly reminders, what should be completed or some other hints, uh, whether they be technology based or, um, you know, with the science, the actual course itself. So make sure you check that over here on the right hand side, you can always see the um, things that you need to do for, you know, for the courses. Um, the due dates for the online academy folks, uh, those are set. And um, each week you basically are completing another lesson. Um, if you're not in the online academy, you still should follow that as a pacing guide, but not necessarily um, have to complete them. The uh, attendance uh, policy for the online academy students is completing one lesson per week. Again, so that due date is basically you finish that, then you would be considered it. Uh, um, being in attendance for that week for that for this course. Um, so the two different biology courses, A and B, are similar in terms of structure. I'm going to look at the biology B. So if we open it up, <clears throat> for this week, make sure you go through the start here module um, and finish all that stuff up and get it submitted, um, as well as uh, lesson 1.1, which we'll go over here in a second. Uh, down here, you can see my name, my email, phone number, and the Zoom um, times that we have, which are Wednesday from 10 to 11 and Friday 1 to 2. Those are not mandatory. Those are there for if you have questions. If you want a Zoom individual with me, you have to email me and we can meet at a different time if you don't want to meet at those times. Okay, so not a problem uh, meeting it beyond those times. So if you go through the course, each module, each lesson is pretty much set up the same different, same way. Um, in the first part of the module, and this one, module one on a population ecology, it has the objectives for the module. So to tell you basically, you know, what are the things that you should know by the time you are done with this particular module. And then within that, if, as some, if you have uh, any type of a question that you want to put forth, you can ask in this, not too many people use it. They just directly email me. And then you have the actual lesson itself. And at the top of the lesson, there's always some information. Here's what you should know by the time we're done. Here's what you need to do. And here's the learning task. So follow these carefully. So you can take notes if you like to, okay? It's, not, it's up to you. That's not something that you're gonna submit. As well as these questions up here, you are not submitting anything that has to do with this. Um, you can watch the two videos, all right, um, and take notes on those. This is where you're going to get all your content. View the other presentations. So in this particular lesson, we got a couple videos, a couple lessons. That's to get your content. Basically, you think about it in terms of a um, textbook. And then you have to submit some different items. Okay, so we have a learning menu. There's uh, three columns with a bunch of things in each column. You have to choose one from each column to submit. That's three submissions. You keep just hitting resubmit, resubmit, resubmit three different times, three different assignments. We'll go over that in a second. Then we also do the proof of knowing document. I put something um, in the announcement yesterday on how to do that, but we can, we'll go over it again. Uh, and then you submit each of those things. So there's a total of three from the learning menu and the proof of known. That's four items for lesson 1.1 that need to be submitted. If you go down and usually below this line now, we'll see here's the presentation where I've gone through and I've read this presentation and uh, followed along with it, give you some other ideas uh, with it. Um, if you want to do that, I tried to keep those as short as possible between five to 12 minutes, something like that. Or you can just pop through and look through the presentation here. This particular lesson has another video, another presentations, um, and so forth. So you, there's quite a bit of content for the population ecology. It's a big lesson. All right. So then when you get down here, these are the things that you submit all the way at the bottom of the lesson. Okay. This is just practice review games. If you want to play some games and practice the vocabulary for the uh, lesson. 
If you open up the learning menu, you'll see again, it has all the information, what you should learn in this lesson, the objectives and targets and so forth. And then you see it has three columns, okay? If you look at the top here on the yellow, it says choose one from this column, then submit it. Choose one from this column, submit it. Choose one from this column and then submit it. So there's three items there. In general, these are some things like uh, vocabulary type things, study guides, um, that type of an assignment. These are a little more, um, you know, like lab based, and these are a little more open ended type things, making some projects of some sort. So, anyway, um, you need to submit one of the, from each column. So, it's a total of three different things from this page that you will submit. Once you're done with that, if you go back to the lesson, okay, now here's this proof of knowing. All right, if you look at the announcements, it, it does have some examples and, and uh, a kind of a template. Um, but basically, you want to take a look at the lesson. Okay, so this lesson has to do with population ecology and um, how ecosystems change over time. And you can go to open up a browser and you can type in how ecosystems change over time, okay? And then you can go to this little news section up here and you can click on one of these, all right? So here, low oxygen levels in lakes and reservoirs may accelerate in some, some sort of a problem, all right? There's a lot of different things in this lesson could be on um, uh, the increasing in CO2 in the atmosphere, causing some global change, various things. Once you have an article, Okay, use this article, right? So the question is, how do ecosystems change over time? Use this article to kind of say, all right, the, our ecosystem, the, our lakes, our air is changing because of so-and-so and, and explain the lesson. That's basically all you need to do, okay? Three or four slides, lots of pictures. Do not copy and paste, just do little bullet points of the information um, that you found in the article and submit that. Usually people are using go, you know, Google Slides or Adobe Spark, something like that. You can do other things. If you look through the presentation on um, down at the bottom, if you look through this uh, submission, uh, the uh, proof of knowing assignment, you can see they give you some other ideas. You can use uh, time toasts and uh, some other types of web applications to submit this. You can make a movie if you wanted to. You can do lots of different things. If you, whatever it might be that you're interested in, let me know and we can discuss it. So that's basically the whole uh, lesson. Now, so that's what you're turning in per week. Some of the weeks then, um, if you look at the modules, we'll have um, a quiz and potentially a, um, a discussion to turn in as well. So as we go through the module itself, right? So module one has this lesson, which is due this Friday. It has lesson 1.2 to do the following week. Lesson 1.3, do the following week, okay? And, um, and then it has a quiz and a wrap up form question, okay? So all those things will be due on certain days, so you can see and take a look at to keep up with the attendance things. So you have the whole semester to complete this. And, um, you know, obviously if you have any questions, please get in touch. If you want to meet in these weekly Zoom meetings or meet personally, individually, that's fine as well. Have a good course.